In GT Online, we have two different types of businesses, active businesses and passive businesses. Active businesses you work on then and there to get the money, while passive businesses work for you in the background. Today, we're going to talk about one of the best passive businesses, which is the bunker. But before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel if you want more content like this. I'm planning to upload a lot of guides on basically every business in the game and a lot of other mechanics. Getting back into the video, the first thing you have to do to get invested into the bunker is of course to buy a bunker. So I assume you already have a CEO office and you are already a CEO. But it isn't as easy as just picking one of the bunkers you like or picking the cheapest one. Because there are some bad locations that will slow you down a lot and in this game time is money. So the best example for this is the bunker on the top of the map. Palido Bay Bunker. This bunker is really 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 bad. It takes so long to sell from there because you need to drive all the way down to the city instead of I recommend to buy which is the true match location. It costs a little bit more but it is a lot better than the Palido Bay. Palido Bay location is really really bad and you will hate it over there. It's, it takes so long to do stuff. So try and buy the true match location. It isn't that expensive and it's probably the best one. And even though it costs a li little bit more and probably if you got the premium edition of this game, Palido Bay one is actually free for you. I would still not recommend buying that one. It's so bad, okay? Do not even touch it. It's that bad. So save out your money. Buy the true match location that I personally own. I think it's the best. And we'll get started on the actual business. When you first arrive to the bunker, you will need to do a little setup mission. This is this this is really similar to the MC businesses setup mission and a lot of the other ones set of missions they are pretty similar and you will probably get it away real quick that's why we don't we won't go be going through that one because it's quite easy to do anyway when you're done with that and you go back to the bunker we now have some new stuff to talk about firstly you will see some bars in the far right corner these are the stock bar the research bar and the supplies bar the stock bar aka the top one is how much you got to sell this is what you have produced and what you got to sell and make profit from the research tab aka the one in the middle is how far along your researchers are to research something new and the last one is the supplies tab it is basically in the word but this is how much supplies you got in for your staff to create stock so this is what your so your staff creates stock with you buy supplies or steal supplies and then they make it to stock and then you can sell it for some profit now let's go ahead and go on to the computer this computer is basically your main big computer that you do everything in the bunker from so selling resupplying upgrades everything you do from this computer so go here and we'll go through these tabs that's right on the left it's a quite a few one so i will go through every single one of them the first one i'm going to go through is the research tab i said i would be talking about this a bit later so now's the time but i won't be talking too much about the research tab in this video because it really doesn't make you any money and this is a money guide so but essentially the research tab unlocks a lot of pretty useless stuff but also some good stuff if you guys want a video especially for the research tab let me know and i'll make one for you guys the next tab i want to go through is the managed staff tab this is a quite simple tab you'll have three options put your staff to manufacturing put your staff to research or put your staff to both for making money I recommend to put your staff to manufacturing because that way you will create stock two times as fast because all your staff is on manufacturing instead of half of your staff is on research and half of your staff is on manufacturing so you will 
create stock two times as fast. So if you want to make money, and this is a money guide, you want to put it on manufacturing. But if you want to do some research too, I would recommend to just put it on research, get done with research, and then make money with Bunker. Right now, we want, we want to make money, so put it on manufacturing. All right, so now we're getting into the quite complicated stuff. Now we want to talk about the sell stock tab. In here, you will obviously sell stock, and in here there will be two options. Sell to Blaine County or sell to Los Santos. Always, 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 always sell to Los Santos. That way you will get 50% more of your stock instead of what you get at Blaine County, which is the normal price. So obviously you want the most money, so always go for Los Santos. But you may be thinking, Jonesy, there's so many people in the city or in Los Santos, I can't go there with my stock, they will all destroy it. Then you have two options. Firstly, bring a lot of fence with some weaponized vehicles that can protect you from whoever comes after you. Or two, my favorite, go into a public solo lobby and then sell it from there. Nobody will try to destroy your cargo because you're alone and you will do it completely safe. I don't have a guide on how to get into a solo lobby on my channel. I may make one, but right now I don't, so, so just search it up on YouTube. And also, if you play solo, you could fill the bunker up, but depending on the sell mission, you may have a lot of problems selling the stock and you may lose a lot of stock. So instead, if you're a solo player, you play completely solo with no friends, buy or steal one batch of supplies, that way the stock bar won't go over one fifth of stock and then you will only get one delivery vehicle. This is definitely the way to go if you're a solo player. This was what I did back in the days when I were, was on Xbox playing as a solo player. But if you have two or more friends to play with, go ahead, fill the whole bunker up. You guys should sell, then be able to sell it easily and yeah, sell a full bunker easily. But it still depends on the mission. If you get a really, really bad mission, maybe you will have a hard time. But generally, you will do it completely fine. Okay, so the next tab is the upgrades tab. Now I will be bringing up quite a lot of stats. So I completely understand if you do not understand everything. But I will try to make it as easily understandable as I can. Okay, so in the upgrades tab, you have three different upgrades you have the staff upgrade you have the equipment upgrade and the security upgrade the ones we are going to focus on is the staff upgrade and the equipment upgrade the security upgrade is nice but it isn't at all necessary the only thing the security upgrade does is it prevents or it makes the percentage uh, chance of you getting raided a lot lower so, for example, Meriwether takes your cargo. If you have this security upgrade, that percentage chance will go a lot more down if you get what I mean. But the staff upgrade and equipment upgrade is, these are really good. So here, here is some stats. Without any upgrades or without the staff upgrade and equipment upgrade that is, you will earn $40,000 in an hour with the bunker. With the staff upgrade only, if you only have the staff upgrade, which costs $598,000, you will earn $54,000 an hour. So that's a big boost already that. If you have the up equipment upgrade only, which costs a lot more at $1,155,000, you will earn $55,000 an hour. And that, was the, that is with the equipment upgrade only. But this is the good part. If you take those two together and you buy both of them, the staff upgrade and the equipment upgrade, you will get $79,000 an hour. So you see maybe why this is worth it. You almost double how much you earn an hour from no upgrades at $40,000 and both upgrades as at $79,000. So you should really try to save up your money and buy both of these upgrades because you will earn them back in no time and 
you will earn a lot more profit with the bunker so prioritize these upgrades a lot they are good and i recommend to buy the staff upgrade first just because it's cheaper than the equipment upgrade but eventually buy both and the last tab i want to talk about is the resupply tab so in here you can either steal supplies or buy supplies if you buy supplies for, for seventy-five thousand dollars, you will get a full batch, and you will not to do, do have to do anything more. If you steal supplies, you will probably need to do multiple steal missions to get it maxed. So, usually, you want to buy supplies for the bunker, since time is money, and instead of doing multiple steal missions to get it maxed, which can take up to an hour, you can just buy supplies for seventy-five grand. And not worry about it no more in that time you can be doing whatever other thing you want to earn money for example if you want to do the vehicle cargo method which i showed in my last video so go check that out, out by the way but then you will earn that seventy-five thousand back in about an hour which you would use on stealing supplies so it's a lot better and you will earn even more from that but if you do not have the upgrades we just talked about in the last segment the staff upgrade and the equipment upgrade i would not buy supplies and with me saying i would not you cannot buy supplies because if you buy supplies without any upgrades you will actually lose money so in the beginning you have to steal supplies until you can afford the staff upgrade and the equipment upgrade when you have both of them then start buying supplies for the bunker it's much more efficient and there you have it that is everything you need to know about the bunker business when going in as a beginner i went through a lot of stuff this video so let me know if you have any questions because i would completely understand that it's a lot of information i just went through so if you have any questions just put them in the comments anyway my next video will be about this CEO special cargo business also known as the CEO crate business if that video is already out it's the video on the right and if not I reckon the video on the left will do just fine bada boom